It is video that has sparked outrage among viewers, not only here in Las Vegas, but really across the country. The surveillance footage showing a woman pushing an elderly man off of an RTC bus is making national news. 25 year old Kadisha Bishop was released on bail, is now on house arrest after that shove that led to the 74 year old man's death. A big question many are asking tonight why was she allowed to go? 8 News Now reporter Orko Mana has the answer in tonight's top story. Well, a picture tells a thousand words. And a video says even more. Police say the shocking footage shows 25-year-old Kadisha Bishop pushing an elderly man off an RTC bus. That man, 74-year-old Serge Fournier, died in late April from blunt force trauma torso injuries. The coroner ruled his death a homicide. The surveillance video has captured the attention of thousands, including Clark County District Attorney Steve Wolfson. This lady should not be on the streets. DA Wolfson tells me Bishop posted the $100,000 bail. He agrees with the many people who say Bishop should not be out on house arrest. The reason she is is because that's what the judge decided. This was a lady that had a violent past who committed a very violent act. Uh, it was unprovoked. Uh, she has a history of failing to appear in court. So although, again, I respect the judge and her decision, it doesn't mean I have to agree with it. Many people also concerned that the bus driver did not do anything after Fournier fell, but the RTC says that isn't true. They released a statement saying in part, quote, the bus was operated by our contractor, Keolis, whose driver immediately called for help, attended to her passengers on the bus, and provided assistance to Mr. Fournier. The RTC, Metro Police, and the DA's office are asking anyone on the bus that day to step forward. We want to know what was said between these two people and what transpired. Orko Mana, 8 News Now. The DA goes on to say that his office will likely ask for a different judge to reconsider Bishop's bail status. She is due back in court next week.